Hi, my name is Josh Keebler. This is my IPT project, the inductive power transfer project for EE320. Uh, let's take a look at the circuit. So coming into the circuit, I've got a nine volt battery and that is powering a DC buck boost converter uh, that is stepping the nine volts down to uh, five volts that the circuit can use. Uh, that is then going to a TLC triple five CP timer. Uh, and that is running in a stable uh, oscillator mode. Uh, that is giving me 153 kilohertz. We can see it on the scope there, 153. Uh, I am running the oscilloscope probes off of pin three, the output there. So that's what we were seeing. Uh, 153 kilohertz seems to be the magic number. Uh, if I lower it, uh, I lose uh, efficiency. Uh, the light uh, doesn't stay lit up at a greater distance between the two coils. Um, let's get back to the circuit here. So we've got the buck boost converter uh, powering the triple five timer. That is running as an oscillator to a MOSFET. TC4422A, which is driving the coils. And then we've got a filter capacitor there on the output. Uh, that then powers the coil. And this is the emitter. That there is the receiver. Uh, we can take a look here at the circuit. So all that there is the oscillator, triple five timer in A stable mode. Uh, I do have a trim pot. You can see the blue and yellow trim pot there uh, for adjusting the uh, resistor to uh, fine tune the oscillation frequency. If we go up here, there's a small schematic of the cheap DC to DC buck converter. You can get out Amazon, that's where I got mine. Uh, oh, and the receiver. The receiver is a bridge rectifier circuit with uh, an inductor and a capacitor and a current limiting resistor. Let's turn the lights off and we'll take a look at the circuit. So right now we are at just about the far end, far end of the range of my coil gap uh, without losing any runway and falling off the table here. Uh, you can see I have got a red LED and a white LED or a clear LED wired in parallel. Uh, the white has a greater forward voltage drop and so that one turns off sooner than the red one as the distance increases the gap. So when we bring the two coils together, they're both lit up very bright. As you bring it further back, the white one should drop out here in just a second. And then the red one will get fainter and fainter as we go. And there we go. Looks like my circuit board disconnected. Yep, sorry, we had a loose connection there, which will be nice to have a PCB made. That won't be an issue. It looks like it's still loose. But you can see we've got inductive power transfer going on here. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching.